photographers, are you tired of taking pictures like this? Now there's a better way. So pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and learn how to stop screwing up those shots. Hey everybody, Josh Cripps here with Professional Photography Tips. In my years as a photographer, I've made a lot of mistakes and screwed up some pretty great photos as a result. Oh no, I've been at ISO 84,000 this whole time? No! As a consequence, I developed a shooting checklist that helps me take the best possible photos. Now this list won't necessarily make you a better photographer but it will prevent you from making the same painful mistakes I have and it'll stop you from screwing up that great shot right in front of you. Before you go out to shoot, you should always make sure you've got a charged battery in your camera and a spare in your bag. Now that goes for memory cards as well. I know that seems ridiculously obvious, but it's only a matter of time until you forget one or the other, so it's always better to double check just to be sure. You also want to make sure that your camera is set to shoot raw plus JPEG if that's your thing, that your picture size is set to large, and that you're in the picture control you like. I'm a neutral guy myself. It's always good to ensure you're in the right mode, like aperture priority or manual, and that your shot type is set to your preference, whether that's single release, continuous, or mirror up. There's nothing like hitting the shutter button at the critical time, only to realize you're accidentally in self timer. You also want to use your remote to minimize any camera shake. Lastly, because I'm a set it and forget it kind of guy, I'll put my ISO where I think it needs to be, usually 100, and I'll just leave it there for the whole shoot unless conditions change. Here's where things get a little more interesting. Once you've got your composition set up, make sure your tripod legs are locked down, your ball head is tight, and your camera plate is secure so that you don't get saggy camera syndrome. Also make sure to check your focus and depth of field. If you're not paying attention, it's way too easy to bump your focus ring, and poof, there goes your razor sharp landscape. Then, before you take a shot, inspect the front of your lens Whoa. and your filters for any dust or water drops and clean those off. This is especially important if you're shooting at high F numbers or shooting into the sun. You'll also want to clean your image sensor and the rear element of your lens regularly to avoid problems there. Now take your shot. No matter what kind of metering you're using, whether you're an aperture priority or manual, double check your histogram. Also take a look at the highlight warning, officially called the blinkies, and adjust your exposure as necessary. If you can't get the entire dynamic range of the scene captured in a single shot, bracket a few exposures to blend in later. Next, zoom in on your image and check around the corners and edges of your frame for distracting elements or important elements that are being cut off, and adjust your composition as needed. You'll also want to look out for lens flare. If you've got it, lock the offending light source with your hand and take another shot to blend in later. I also like to bracket a few shots using different white balances. Even though you can change white balance easily in post, changing it in the field can often make you see the scene and approach it in a different way. And you want the opportunity to change things while you're still on location. Lastly, if you're shooting something moving, like water, try different shutter speeds to see what different looks you can get. Once you've done all this, make subtle changes to your composition and repeat the whole process. Then make big changes to your composition and repeat the process again. That way you've got a whole multitude of shots to choose from, each as good as they could possibly be. Oh, and always stick around until the light is completely gone because you never know when it might blow up. Celebrate, because you nailed it! Now I know some of these seem painfully obvious, but I actually have made every single one of these mistakes, so hopefully you can learn from my errors. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. You can also subscribe for photo tips and techniques, and visit my website, joshuacrips.com, for landscape photography, workshops, tutorials, and more. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting. You also want to make sure your camera is set to shoot raw, plus JPEG if that's your thing, that your picture size and I'll leave it there for the entire shoot, unless it needs to be
wackadoo, wackadoo.